direction. I have no idea what that was. Hello? Is anybody here? At some point in the middle of the night, he had woken up and he literally found himself right here in the spot that she had died in. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thanks for doing that. Can you make it stop? Oh, wow. Oh, there it is again. It just keeps going off for some reason. If you framed Lizzie, can you cross these rods? Cross the rods, Lizzie. You know it's you. Again, we still have the other question that needs to be answered. Did Andrew hurt the girls? I think we're okay now. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, it seems to be working now. Alright, that was a little bit strange. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Activity. Unless there was Could something. have been Andrew messing about. Andrew not so kind. Maybe something was already there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Andrew. We're in the, uh, the room that you were murdered in. Can you come towards us? Can you show yourself? Make a sound? A knock? Can you touch one of us? Can you grab Steve's butt? Yeah, oh, chill. <laughs> hey, maybe he, uh, maybe he rolled that way. Yeah. Andrew, I know like a lot of people talk bad about you, but we're not one of your haters. We actually respect you a lot, and we come here in peace. We just want to find some answers. Money. And we, we got money. We got money. We got money. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. We want to know what happened here. If you can make one of these devices go off, I won't use the hatchet again on you. <laughs> I think he's calling your bluff. I think so. Andrew, do you know who could have murdered you? Did you see them when it happened? Do you think it could have been Lizzie? If so, could you come to my device? Or make one of the devices go off? What was that? I did hear that knock. Was that you that just made that knock? Yo, did you just see that? I saw that. Did you just see that? Did you get that on camera? I don't know. I don't, I don't Bro, know the, uh, how is that possible? Frame. How is that possible? Guys, <sighs> no. <Was> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about your camera? I don't know if it's uh... Yo, your camera has it on frame. Yeah. Actually, no, wait. What go up to go, it. Go up to it? No, your camera does not have oh. it. Is that uh, like not supposed to happen? Bro, that is not supposed to happen. This, this one's like flickering. Yeah, but that light literally went down and then yeah. up. 
don't know if that's, uh, I don't think that's normal either. Yo, I think, maybe try and bring your camera a little bit over yeah. here. Guys, so we just, I just saw something so crazy. It's a light bulb right here. I'll show you right now through Angela's camera. This, it started flickering and went down and then up. Like, as if the light bulb moved as I asked that question. Was that you trying to get our attention? Yo! I did that. I did that. Oh, okay. I debunked. <laughs> I accidentally kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Italian in you. Yeah. <laughs> no. If, if it was the Italian in me, I would have gone diving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Has that light in there always been like that? Like half on? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's like supposed to do that. But it's been strange. So I do know some of these rooms have motion activated lighting. It just turned off. Oh yeah, you're right. You never even went in that room. Yeah. The, okay, so that's what I was about to go get to. <sighs> Guys, so when we like hell? have either of us been in that room, for example? No. The light is on in that room. Why? Nobody's been in there for like half an hour. All yeah, the lights are on. Turn on all the lights around. But there was a right point now. when we walked in and we came through this room, and that light literally went on. I think I even caught. You guys saw that, right? That room, the light turned on and then turned off. I think we're getting activity here. This is a good sign. Andrew, like I said, we're with you. We want to. We want to help. Solve this case because it's never been solved yet. So who is this? <laughs> That's Putin, obviously. Is it? That's yeah, Vladimir Putin. No, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Vladimir Putin, can you please not invade Ukraine? <laughs> we don't need this right now. All right, I'm super happy about this, guys. So far, we've gotten a lot of activity just by like asking the questions. Um, yo. What? Your EMF reader. Is on. Yeah, but I think there's something in this area. I already debunked this. Yeah. But mine's not going on. Because your K2 is probably not on at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a noob. He's still learning. I'm still Cut learning. Some slack, okay? some slack. I do this every day. That's why I'm with the best right here. <laughs> it's my sensei. <laughs> Oh yeah? Well, why is mine not going off? <laughs> Alright, yeah, you're right. Mine's not going off. Mm. I think somebody's coming down. That's probably Andrew. Alright, Andrew. If this is you in this picture, can you give us a sign? Can you, uh, I don't know, kick one of these balls? All right, Andrew, thank you for that. That was uh, awesome if that was you inter trying to interact with us. Um, if you think it was really Lissy that done it, can you make something happen again? Well, what about John? I know John has been a suspect. The uncle and the family. Do you think he could have had something to do with your murder? Okay, that's interesting. What, it's just stuck? It's not doing it anymore. Oh. Interesting. So are you trying to say something? Have you gone... Have you walked... Have you stood up from the couch? Let me see mine. Yo, nothing. Yeah, so ever since I got here tonight, this thing, every time I would put the K2 around this area, it would go to like solid yellow, but it's not doing it anymore. Yo, I'm getting a chill. Like a breeze yeah, right it's, here. It's getting colder in here for sure. John, or Andrew, is that you? Or whoever that is. Whoever did this in the picture, is that you? Whoa, dude, I'm getting the chills right now. No joke. Who else is here? Is anyone else here with us right now? Can you make your presence known? I have this weird pain, like in the side of my jaw. Hmm. 
just all of a sudden. Yeah. My ears started ringing, and then suddenly, like, this whole area started doing that. Maybe it's like the repeated energy of... Right. ...getting hacked in the head yeah. a billion times. Is the, uh, the murderer with us? Dude, I feel it right here. Yeah, I feel that too. Pretty sure that's the fridge off in the distance. Yeah. Come on. Tell us who did this. Maybe they don't want us. Maybe they, whoever's here doesn't want to give the answer. Maybe not. Maybe the murderer is in here and is trying to hold it back from Andrew. Spirit box? Yeah, let's try the spirit box. It's not like help. It's funny because it sounded like it said go, and then it sounded like another person said you go. Like they're arguing with each other. You got right now. Who, who are we talking to? We know you're here already. You already made your presence known. It said go. Go? Go where? Yeah. Where do you want us to go? We're not going anywhere. This is our house now. That's right. We bought this place. Get and out? You get out? I thought I heard get out. And then it said what do you mean? Or what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? What we mean is we're, we bought the house. We own it now. We killed him. Did it kill, kill him? Kill him? Or kill him? Yo! Oh, yo, 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 yo! Yo, 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 there you are. Can you make the one on the left do it too? Well, we obviously know you're here now. You've been here. Oh, there it is again. It literally stopped and started again. Yeah, we know you're here. Can you tell us your name? Whoever is doing that to the ball, can you tell us your name right now? That's not like John. Sounds like John, man. John, is that you? Can you say your name again? Oh, that's a fucking pain in my jaw, man. It won't go away now. Hey. Yeah. So come here. Passed away. That was a female voice too. Yeah. Abby, are you here with us in this room? Find me. Said find me. What did do? Can you tell us whose dress this was? It wasn't Abby's dress though, but it said Abigail, which is Abby would be three Yeah. Oh. Could you possibly tell us what happened here in this room? <laughs> Not gonna. Oh, there it goes again. Wow. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Why? Can you touch that thing with the red light on it too? Can make it go off? It's strange how it makes that go off. Or not. Right. Keep. 
time I heard it asked why. Why? Yeah, it's like why. Why what? Probably when you told it like to touch that. Yeah. Well, you see, you. we've come all this way. I came all the way from Canada. I'm sure you know where that is. It's pretty far. There it is again. Wow. I came all the way from Canada just to talk to you. I heard so what from like a female voice. Well, if you're the person who was murdered here, we want to know who did it. We want to get you justice. It's John? Is that what it just said? I saw like John. It sounded like I said it was John. Like I said, Andrew, we want to help you out. Well, we're getting quite a bit. We're getting a lot of responses. Now you guys are probably hearing a lot of noise from upstairs. I'm just going to assume it's the, uh, the other people who are here tonight. No big deal. Are you still in this room? Or are you, are you in another room? Yep, right there. <laughs> okay, you're still in this room. <laughs> wow. Please tell us your name right now. So why are you still here? Good question. Hmm? Where'd you ask again? I heard Abby. I keep hearing Abby. Abigail, Abby, over and over again. Abby, I know we haven't asked you much questions, but... Do you think you know who murdered you? Do you remember any of it? And if so, can you give us a name? I just heard Elizabeth. That was her middle name, right? Elizabeth. Oh, I guess oh, Lizzie, Lizzie, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think it could have been your daughter, Lizzie? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. What? <laughs> There's someone standing right there, and I'm like... <laughs> For a second, I'm like, is there somebody standing there? There legit is somebody standing there. Alrighty. Can you tell us what weapon they use to kill you? Made up. Did it just say made up? Huh? I heard it say no. made up. Made up. Are you trying to say the story's made up? Maybe they're trying to say that the weapon they used was kind of made. Oh, maybe, yeah, like yeah. The poison. Yeah, that makes sense. Or maybe, dude, maybe it was just like a DIY, like axe or a hatchet. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think the weapon could have been made? Maybe we'll just change the atmosphere a bit. Yeah, whoever wants to continue forward with us, come follow us in the next room. And feel free to grab Steve's butt at any given moment. Anytime. Anytime. He's Anytime. ready. Don't you worry, I'm ready. Single and ready squats. to mingle. <laughs> he does squats. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here in the corner just like listening. <laughs> You even have an Oculus with you that picked up some stuff when we were. Yeah, it's an Oculus. Yeah, you guys got a lot of Ocul interaction. With <laughs> Oculus is awesome. like the the, the VR. Yeah. Sorry, I always say the same thing. Ovul <laughs> What's it called? It's an Ovulus. Oh. My first time seeing something like that. Oh yeah, That's it's so really cool. neat. Yeah, those are fantastic. So it has like different names and stuff that come <sighs> up. And... died. Have to use oh. your footage. Oh, that's part. No, it's so, okay. He's filming. So it's been saying a couple things that make sense to like. Yeah, you know, I I don't really. These are kind of like hit or miss for me, mm -hmm. but um. 
it said Jack is an immediate response, and then it said Jan and Debbie afterwards when you guys shut off everything. Really? But um, while I was listening, uh, I did hear names. I heard Abby, and I heard um, a couple other things that sounded like they were direct responses to things hmm. that you were saying. So yeah. I the main, the main one awesome. that was most notable, you'd say, was just the fact that we were asking, like, who did the murder, and it said Jack pretty much right Yeah, away, that right? was immediate yeah. after. So I was thinking, you know, if there was like a John, like mm -hmm. Jack is sometimes a nickname for that. Right. Or, um, so, I mean, there are all different kinds of variations, but it sounded mm -hmm. like a nickname to me, and that was the feeling I got. I also noticed that I was getting chills at the same time that you guys were It got cold in there. Oh, it was, yeah, it was like nice cold kidding. in this one. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Time. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys caught anything? Yourselves? Um, just some orbs tonight because we're oh, cool. on the third floor in the mm -hmm. attic -y area. Uh -huh. So we're nice. in Hosea's room. Oh, um, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. So. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we are now in Lizzie and Emma's room. Um, this is not our room, obviously. There was a couple of other ladies who are staying in here. They were saying that they got a bunch of amazing, incredible paranormal activity in here. One actually had her foot grabbed while they were doing the Estes method. They were asking very specific questions, things that I've heard before which are kind of unknown and also questionable. We're not 100% sure on those answers, which is why we're going to try and find that stuff out. So we're going to use a whole bunch of stuff. We've got spirit boxes ready. we got REM pods in the middle of the rooms. we got uh, cat balls everywhere, which we've been getting those to work as well tonight, which has been fantastic. And uh, we're also going to use some dosing rods too. I was actually using the dosing rods in, uh, I think it was the master bedroom earlier. Uh, I know I didn't really show anything of that room in this video. Um, there is... Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Earthbuzz going off. Oh. There we go. Didn't even get to finish my uh, talking points, but all right. <laughs> That's a good sign. Right. We had to start Lizzie's room. Can you do that again? Is that you, Lizzie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I think that's somebody else. Yeah, they're down. I think they're down there. Yeah, so we're not here alone in this house, you know, um, multiple people can book it and stay the night, so there's about like two, or maybe, there's about like five other people here right now, mm -hmm. uh, but it's gotten a lot quieter, I think we're like one of the very few up right now, doing ghost investigation, so yeah, let's do this, man, Alrighty. let's do this. Shall we uh, turn out some lights? Yeah, let's turn off some lights. I don't even know where the switches are. I'm, uh, unsure. <laughs> All right, uh, Lizzie, Emma, anybody who, any of the spirits that reside within this house, if you want to come and join us, feel free. In the last room, I said that if any ghosts want to come follow us, you're more than welcome to follow us in the next room. Um, so if you're here with us right now, thank you. Um, we have some more questions to ask, and this might even help solve the case. And find out who really murdered Andrew Borden and Abby Borden. That's right. John, I hope you're here right now. Because we got a little bit of information about you. Mm hmm. Something a little, uh, a little disturbing. Very disturbing. Basically what we wanted to know, um, we had heard a little bit of information that, I guess, firstly, John, did you frame Lizzie? Were you the ones who committed the murders in this house and you made it look like Lizzie did it? Come on, John. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Shh. I, mean, I heard, heard a tap I heard right that. behind me. So it sounded, it literally, it didn't sound, sorry, it felt like, um, as if somebody kicked my foot. No way. Yeah. Like literally right after I asked the question. Are you angry about that, John? Did we finally 
solve the case? Were you the one? Did you frame? Did you frame? Did you frame Lizzie Borden? Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. We know you framed her. We yeah. know you did. Are you gonna deny it? If you're gonna deny it, why don't you move something in this room? Throw something, kick something, hit one of us. Whoa. I literally just like lost hearing in my left ear. Really? Yeah. It's like sort of like what happened to me earlier. That was so weird. And Andrew, we heard something very disturbing about you. Did you really rape your daughters? Well, you're just so straightforward about Did it. Did you eh? sexually molest them? <laughs> oh my god. I thought you were cool, John. I'm, I thought you were cool, Andrew, but for doing that, nah. That's messed up. A lot of people have suggested that uh, that's the reason why maybe Lizzie did all the murders and stuff. If she did, or was framed for the murders too, right? We don't know that. I mean, but if it's... we tried the uh, let's try the dosing rods, we'll get more like direct answers. Yeah, where are they? Right here. Yeah, I, we never really talked about Emma, but apparently when this all happened, she wasn't even home, which is very unusual for her because. People would say that she never left the house. So I'm kind of thinking and picturing the story that she knew what was going to happen and she didn't want any part of it or want to be near the situation in the first place. I so think, she went very far away from I think home. that's a pretty valid point, right? It, it was kind of suspicious, and the main reason why it was so suspicious was that um, apparently Emma was the type of person, she was a homebody, so she would very rarely ever leave the house, mm -hmm. let alone suddenly go away for a week out of nowhere or so. I don't know. There seems to be so many like options and like ways that the story could have played out, which it makes it so interesting for one. Um, but yeah, we got some dosing rods. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more direct answers. I was using these in the room earlier off camera. There's some other people. I was just kind of showing them how to use these. So, are those <clears> yours? No, they're uh, the ladies that are oh, yeah. using this room, but they are lending them to us for this segment. Um, to see if we can get some more direct answers. So, I am getting the worst freaking headache right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try and uh, focus our energy here. Whew. Man, this headache is like throbbing all of a sudden. It's making it really hard to concentrate. Okay, so John, first question is for you. You know you're around. You've been around all night. Um, if you framed Lizzie, can you cross these rods? Oh, they're moving. They're moving. It's like they want to cross, but like something's holding them back. Hmm. Don't lie to me, John. Cross the rods if you framed Lizzie. Ooh, they're about to cross. Oh my god, it's like right on the edge. Do you see that? Looks like it's like fighting right? to not even go. Yeah. Maybe it's not even John doing that, but like could right? be someone from the family trying to say yes, but like John's holding them back. Who knows? Alright, John. Prove to us it's you. If this is you, uncross the rods. Stop crossing. It's crossing even more, bro. Right? I want to try that. Come on, John. If it's you, uncross the rods. For a second, in my left hand, it felt like there was like electricity going through it. It was wild. Dude, it won't uncross. It's like not even resisting either. Whoa. Yeah, it's just crossing even more, okay. So I guess maybe we're not dealing with John. 
Lizzie, if that's you, uncross the rods. Oh? Oh? Come on, Lizzie. Use no all your way. strength. No way. Whoa. Uncross the rods, Lizzie. We know it's you. There's no hiding from us. There you go. Uncrossed. <laughs> no, I want to try. I want to try this out. <laughs> it's really How easy. do you do this? This is Literally my first just, time, guys. Just hold as steady as possible. Just focus. Focus all your yes. mental energy into those rods. Breathe nice and easy, in and out. Okay. All right, Lizzie. Thank you, if that was you. Can you tell us this question? Were you framed? And was John the one that framed you? Do you want it to cross if she was framed? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you want right. to say cross the rods if you were framed. Cross the rods if you were framed. Is there someone here trying to hold you back? Yeah, nothing, bro. Nope. Maybe you've just not experienced enough for these things. Or maybe that's you're just getting the answer to your question. Was this, was this premeditated? Was this all planned all along? Why not just, why not just Abby or John, but, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know, but I heard something behind us. Yeah? Yeah. I was trying to finish my question, but I heard something. Was it not just one, but two of you people that wanted to kill your parents? Andrew Borden and Abby Borden. Please cross. Please let these cross together to give me a yes. I just suck at. I don't know. Maybe it's a no. You want me to, you want me to try? But yeah, then again, I'm asking these questions, and I feel like <laughs> no one's just gonna be like, yes. You know what I mean? Like every, everyone's gonna deny it. Well, the question too is that maybe they don't know that they're dead. I want to try that one thing that other people did. What? What's it called? You even said it. It's like That's kind of, something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to try that. Okay. I have some. I have some questions. Yeah, it seems like you're getting more of the answers right now. So this will be good if you ask the questions and you do the whole <laughs> ask this method. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Why is it called that? I I think it's it was a, a person a person who came up with it, but um, so I think a lot of you on my ch on my channel know what this is, but on Steve's channel, <coughs> basically the ask this method. Um, it's using the spirit box, something we've used for a very long time, SB7. Uh -huh. If you're using noise canceling headphones, which we're going to use, with the Estes method, okay. somebody basically asks the questions to another person and they get the direct responses. And it's just kind of like a way of being more in tune with it. Plus, you can hear the responses typically a little bit better okay. because they're being said directly to you. All right. So, am I asking the questions? Yeah, you'll be asking the questions, and I'll be the one experiencing whatever. Let me put turn it on, on first before you put them on. Can you hear it? I can't really hear you. Um, say something? 
Can you hear me? Kind of. Make it louder. Can you hear me? No, not really. Okay. Alright, I just want to get this again. So you're going to be asking questions and I just sit here and just yeah. listen? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to keep your eyes... Can I tell you what I hear? Yeah, just give us whatever answers you hear. Okay, okay. Um, Alright, here we go. We're going to have Steve try and look... Try, oh. try and look away, so that way you can't see what uh, questions I'm asking. Okay. So we already know... Maybe you should go right there, then. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Alright, so I'm going to actually stand behind him here and ask him these questions. Alright. Okay, so, first things first. Lizzie, are you aware that you are dead? I'm fine. I'm fine. It happens. So you are aware that you're dead, yes or no? Maybe. Oh. Well, it seems to me like maybe you don't know that you're dead. So when I'm asking you these questions... Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> So when I'm asking you these questions, it seems like you're getting, you know, you're kind of holding off on answering them because you think you're going to get in trouble. Do you think you're going to get in trouble by answering the questions properly? Leave. Why do you want me to leave? Do you not want to answer my questions? Lizzie? Abby. Abby. Whoa. Okay. So who are we speaking to? Is this Lizzie? Is this Abby? Speaking. So this is Abby, yes or no? Abby. Okay. Abby, was it your daughter Lizzie who murdered you? Neglect. What? Sad. Depressed. Who was sad and, de and depressed? Were you sad and depressed? Or was it Lizzie who was sad and depressed? Was it Andrew? Abby. Abby. We, we know we're talking to Abby. Who Can you tell us specifically who was sad and depressed? I'm surprised we're not getting any REM pods going off right now. <clears throat> was it Andrew who was sad and depressed? I have another question for you. Did Andrew touch Lizzie and Emmy? in ways that he wasn't supposed to?
Did he hurt them? Are you afraid to answer the question? clearly have something getting angry at us. Why do you want me to eat shit and die? That's a pretty uh, rude thing to say. Stabbing. Stabbing. Are you stabbing someone right now? Who was stabbing? Abby, are, are you being stabbed right now? Elizabeth. What did I figure out? Your murder? Again, am I still speaking to Abby? Mom. Who is the mom? Who are, who are you referring to? Abby. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Again, we still have the other question that needs to be answered. Did Andrew hurt the girls? Yes. Why? Animal. Jesus. Porno. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. That's insane. Sick. Yeah, we know. So Andrew was sick. So what, what made Lizzie murder you? Do you know? Demon. Demon? Was she possessed? Was Lizzie possessed by a demon? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that why Lizzie was acting that way? She was possessed? Something had a hold of her? That's one answer. Are you trapped here, Abby?
Are you unable to move on? Not getting anything at all. pretty good yeah <laughs> yeah i think we were getting somewhere it's the people in the other room i think oh there's another room over there yeah yeah that's where the master bedroom is oh. <laughs> those are those people we saw right yeah yeah oh, okay yeah wow yeah yeah that was uh pretty accurate yeah yeah um, so what did you even ask? Like just a brief summary of it, and like what did I? Well, what would we I got have one. Fun? We got one really weird answer. So I, I asked why Lizzie killed everybody essentially, yeah. and uh, it's a demonic. Okay. Yeah, and I was asking like was Lizzie possessed and whatever, but there was no answers after that. It's just like whoever we were talking to, which we assume was Abby, because he kept saying Abby and Abby yeah. over and over again. And then it just wouldn't answer again for some odd reason. But uh, yeah. Dude, I feel like there was just really dark negative energy in this family household yeah. that, like, I mean, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just, a little bit still a skeptic, but demons are possible. I mean, when I think of, like, stuff like this happening, I don't even think it's the person, like, kind of doing it, per se. But, yeah. Like, well, that's what I was asking. I'm like, was she taken over? Did something take her over? Was she okay. not herself? But it just wouldn't answer after that. It just kept stopping. And technically, when when it comes to doing the Estes method, you're not supposed to overdo it because... The camera just stopped. Yeah. I wonder why. Maybe it died? It's charged. I don't know. Alright guys, so we have uh, decided actually to come to the cemetery where the Borden family is buried. Um, Steve's already actually at the monument. I think literally the entire family is buried here. Andrew, Abby... Um, Lizzie and Emma as well and like literally a bunch of other ones too. Oh man, it's so cold. Oh the second wife, Abby Durfee Borden, who was the wife that got murdered by supposedly Lizzie Borden or whoever is still quite a mystery. And I believe Lizzie Borden is actually buried here too. She was buried right next to her parents. Which one's hers? Here, Elizabeth. Oh yeah, you're right. Man, it looks like someone sent her flowers. Yeah, I think they did. I mean, a lot of people do believe that she was innocent, right? They literally like act. There, there was activists for yeah. her release from jail at one point. So yeah. I mean, here's her sense. sister. Here's Emma. Emma. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know about that. That her sister was buried next to her too. Mm -hmm. What about these people? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think these might be part of the same family. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It's, so cold. it's, <laughs> it's the wind. S A B A J B. Yeah. I don't know who the rest of these are. Oh, there might be more related to the Borden family. I don't know. <laughs> it's dark. It's hard to see. Very cold. And I also don't have gloves. And I kind of just want to get back to the house. But, uh, what those dogs? Anything? uh, not really, I don't know. I think that's a different family. I think so, yeah. What was interesting, though, is, um, one of the girls, as we were doing our investigation, she was using the Ovilus, and the name Jack, if I'm not mistaken, came through. And, funny enough, Andrew's middle name is Jackson, so that's pretty interesting. I'm going to try and uh, see how the two possibly tied together between whatever it was that we asked and whatever the answer was uh, and why that answer kind of came through. But yeah, I don't really see anything else. It's just interesting to see um, 
the actual tombstones here. So close to where the house is. There is also another house that she moved to later on um, that is now for sale apparently. So if you guys are interested in buying, it's in Falls River, Massachusetts. Uh, feel free to buy it and uh, invite us over to investigate for you because apparently it's also haunted. All right guys, um, so the investigation is pretty much over. I'm actually heading to bed because I am absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna film myself sleeping. Um, so yeah, here it is. I will see you guys in the morning.
Yeah, not that black ball. Alright, cut. Looper reel. Yeah. <laughs>